channel welcome to my channel it's always been a long time but here i am about to do another video 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 about my top 10 least 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 clones 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 my least 10 least favorite clones 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 and i'm sure a lot of you um, uh, probably know some of these brands and I went to um, fra fragrantica.com to, to make sure I give the exact um, ingredients for every cologne that I have here so you guys can see but again this is just my opinion I think these are like the, like the 10 least favorite of my own personal collection Some of you probably have some of these as one of your favorites, but again, it's just my, 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 my opinion, my opinion, and my own personal preference. Okay, for well, the first one is called Burberry Bread for Men. Burberry for Men is called is this one. Obviously, this is a very, um, this is like very recent. I I bought this maybe seven months ago and obviously I don't really care for it I don't really use it I think I, I think I've used it like once I think once just to try it out and I just didn't like it 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 <sighs> maybe you just have to use it more for it to grow on you I don't know. I personally don't really like it. It's okay, but I thought it could have been better. But anyway, um, this one is a uh, main accords. It's a uh, warm, spicy, rose, woody, citrus, fresh, spicy, automatic or aromatic. I'm sorry, uh, vanilla, floral, musky, and powdery, powdery, powdery. Powdery, 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 powdery. And let me give you the, um, the, uh, the ratings, perfume rating 3.95 out of 5 with 3,018 votes. It says right here Burberry Braid for Men by Burberry is an amber woody fragrance for men. Burberry Braid for Men was launched in 2004. The nose behind this fragrance is Antoine Maisondio. I don't know how to pronounce the name, sorry. Top notes are ginger, cardamom, green mandarin, and bergamot. Middle notes are wild rose, nutmeg, cedar, setter, whatever, and spicy notes. Base notes are tonka bean, gray musk, setter, cedar, oriental woodsy notes, and patchouli, patchouli. This perfume is the winner of two awards. Wow. I don't believe that. Vivi Award Best National Advertising Campaign Print 2005 and Vivi Award Fragrance of the Year Men's Lux 2005. Uh, I, I don't believe that, but whatever. And then it says, Nanshan and Burberry Bridge for Men is a perfect illustration of modern English spirit in rough and with, with tradition. Young English actor Hugh Dancy sitting in the front of a fabulous old timer embodies to perfection the laid back, elegant spirit of philosophy and philosophy of this new set for men. That's a uh, Burberry brick. Uh, Burberry brick for men. There you go. Okay. <sighs> okay, the next one is. Let me see if I can find it. I can't find it. It's fake. 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 Okay, now this one is called Halloween. Halloween Man is what it is. It doesn't smell too bad. It's just I think it's a little too weak. It doesn't last long. Halloween, I don't 
Halloween, Halloween, Friday the 13th, you know, Friday the 13th, this October, is actually gonna be on the Friday, Friday the 13th, so that's pretty cool, 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 this one says, uh, main, main accords is warm, spicy, citrus, cinnamon, yeah, I could definitely smell cinnamon, aromatic, vanilla, leather, amber, animalic, lavender, and powdery. And then this got a 4.07 out of 5 with 1,253 volts. Halloween Man by Halloween is an amber woody fragrance for man. Halloween Man was launched in 2012. Top notes are martini, violet leaf, mandarin, orange, and brazil. Middle notes are cinnamon, lavender, ginger flower, and orange blossom. Base notes are vanilla, leather, amber, and musk. Halloween Man was a... Halloween Man is a new fragrance that appeared on the market in 2012. Sorry, it was loud. Sorry, new beers in the, of the market 2012. It announced it as a very attractive, fresh oriental fragrance with woody red essence that will en enchant you with its notes. A man who chooses his scent does not fall under stereotypes, does not follow the trends, and is not afraid of anything. I mean, yeah, that's kind of me, but I don't know. Okay, yeah, it smells okay. I mean, it smells good. It smells good. Maybe I underestimated it, but it just doesn't, doesn't last long. Okay, now, uh, let me see, this one is called, of course, one I saw it. If you 
you know someone wears this, you know it's not that special. Like, it's not that special. Dior Savage. Dior Savage. EDP. 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 Okay. Next one. If I could find it, because like, oh yeah, right here. This one is Desire. Alfred Dunhill for men. This one. I like it because he has this little thing. Like, I know sometimes people lose their caps. This one, no way. He's right there. Just close it. Open it. Close it. Yeah. Okay, now this one. Main records is citrus, vanilla, fruity, fresh, rose, woody, powdery, green, musky, and fresh. Spicy. Definitely, this is fresh. This one, as far as reviews, this one got a 4.5 out of 5 with 1,650 volts. This desire for for men by Alfred Dunhill is an amber woody fragrance for men. This cologne was launched in 2000, which you know is a long time ago because I remember seeing this. I think in one of my um, uncle's house, like uncle's home. I was like, hey, that's a nice, it smells good, that cologne, and I just got it, like, not too long ago, maybe like a year ago, and it reminded me of, like, like that, that time in the, in my past, like, maybe it was like, 04, 05, and then it says, the nose behind this fragrance is, my, Michael Almarac, top nose are apple, lemon, neroli, and bergamot, middle nose are rose, teak wood, and patchouli, and base nose are vanilla and musk. With its very red bottle, with its very red bottle, th this brand tries to attract attention to the customers, naming new generation from 25 to 45. It addressed to self-confident as the man who wants to be in the center of attention. Great perfection for a Leo. Not to mention the fact that I am a Leo. Uh, 
this one has a lot of citrus. There's a lot of citrus, powdery, iris, fresh, musky, white floral, woody, patchouli, earthy, and aromatic. I mean, this was this used to be my to-go too, back when I was like 20 years old. And uh, I just, I, I obviously I don't use it no more as much. I just have it just to, I don't know, just. I don't know, just to smell, to smell it, and it kind of reminds me of the past, of that specific year, when I was 20 years old. Uh, uh, the Cologne rating is a 3.79 out of 5, with 470 volts. Gucci Guilty, Pour Home by Gucci, is a woody, arom aromatic fragrance for men. Gucci Guilty was launched in 2015, of course, that's when I was, that's when I turned 20. Top notes are lemon, bergamot, middle notes are snowberry, oris, and orange blossom. Base notes are musk and patchouli. Patchouli, 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 patchouli. This is for, this is more, this is more of a summer fragrance than anything else. Basil and 
osmanthus, base notes are tobacco, amber, patchouli, woodsy notes, and some musk. One of the most successful fragrances from Calvin Klein is CK1. CK1, the citrus unisex fragrance from 1994. CK1 shock is a surprise for all the fans of CK1 line. It's not, it's not an, an unisex edition, but two separate oriental compositions. I mean, I get what that, I get what he means though. The set, the, the couple seconds you smell it, it, it can go, we can go both like for men and for women. Cause you know how it, um, when you smell a uh, perfume, you know it's like a woman's fragrance. And then when you smell, smell cologne, it smells like a man's cologne. This one, I think it can go both ways. Now, if you don't tell anybody, but this one is for him. For him, for him. But if a woman took a uh, spray something on her, nobody would really make a big deal. I think. That's CK shock for ya. And see now this go for the ones I couldn't find on this website. I have two left, but I can't. Um, seem to find them. Um, I don't want to like talk bad about you know uh, the person that got me this the cologne, this specific one on my left. Um, but I just can't f seem to find it in the um, in that website, and, I'm, and uh, that website has every other cologne except for this one and the one over here on my right so whatever i gotta do but okay this one is called yes i am the king by paris and call me crazy guys call me crazy call me crazy when i smelled this it smelled just like savage yeah kind of a little bit less but kind of like similar Okay, I mean this website doesn't give me a lot of information, but the top the the top notes Greek fruit, cardamom, cardamom, whatever, set set our leaf. The heart notes is geranium, green apple, lavender, and the base notes is ombre, patchouli, and set our set our wood. Um, I mean I haven't really used it a lot. I should because. Obviously, look, it's not even, like, I don't know if you guys can see. It's not a lot. It's like, I only use this much. So the line is up to right here. Like, right here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. But that's pretty much it for that one. Um, if you guys must know, I think I already told you um, in my other videos that that was my, it was gifted by my ex-girlfriend like a year and a, uh, two years ago or something and I never really used it not because not because like we broke up no it's just nah, it just smells like the uh, Dior Sauvage but I'm gonna start using it just to just to waste it okay now the last one but not least the last but not least is uh, let's see Okay, and this one, okay, and this one, Loyalty, it's called Loyalty, by Express, Express, and keep in mind this one, it's an EDC, not an EDT, not an EDP, not a Parfume, not an Elixir, this is an EDC, and uh, I wish I had more information on it, but there's not really a lot of information I could find here. Uh, Okay, uh, okay, there's there's a website right here, and uh, it says, I'm just going to give you what I can find. The, the Cologne House is called Express, introduced spring 2012. Tagline is uh, the new fragrance for men. Scent classification, marine. Fragrance notes, top is watery, marine, black pepper. Heart is lavender. Base is cedar, cedar wood. White musk, white amber, or warm amber. Sorry, 
uh, package designers express and the print is Lucho, Jacob and Daniela the Jesus uh, the models and Greg Cato the photographer and uh, uh, available products express always see cologne 1.7 ounces 45 bucks and 3.4 ounces for 60 bucks this is the 3.4 yeah, 3.4. A little. The other one is like this small. This one's 60 bucks more. Okay, so this one. This is only 15 bucks more. 50 bucks more. 50 bucks more. 50 bucks more. 50 bucks more. 15 bucks more. 15 bucks more. 15 bucks more. And this one got a rating of 4.4 out of 5 with 76 volts. So you know, not bad. Not good too. Not good either, but not bad. Uh, this one. Stand on this web this website it says 169. I don't know, it's for 2.4 ounces. This this thing cost me six 169 cost me way less back then because I think I bought this one like 2016, 2015, or whatever, whatever, whatever. I like the, I like the texture that this cologne has. If they can make you, if, if they can maybe make a new one and launch it as a parfum or EDP, maybe it can be like one of the best but I don't know it's just uh, Express I think Express um, aims for other things like clothes not clones clothes 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 well that's it guys that's it for this video let me know which one of my least favorite is your most favorite or least favorite the same doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter Thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to share, to share. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Uh, my information will be at the end of the video, at the end of the video, at the end of the video, at the end of the video. I'll see you guys and don't forget to sleep well and take care of yourselves. Goodbye.